We come to the next plenary session. But before that, I would like to say a few words about our presenter. He will be presenting a paper entitled Family Life Relationship as a Scriptural System for the Church. He was a student at IAS in Biblical Study Department. He's writing his dissertation right now. Uh, by the way, his emphasis is in the New Testament study. But he was a church pastor and missionary. And I think he's still like that until now. So our presenter, I, I try to pronounce it correctly, is Pastor G. Myung Hoon. Pastor G. Myung Hoon. So it should be uh, connected, yeah, Myung Hoon. The family name is G, and then the name is Myung Hoon. So I invite all of you to stand for a while for the words of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are glad, O oh God, to be commanded to spread the gospel. But as you know, O oh God, we are so limited. That's why we are here to be informed, to be educated, and we hope that the presentation that we are going to hear will edify and even will touch our heart. So the more nourishment will be having in order to be ready more and more for the gospel. Please be with our speaker of this hour, Pastor G. May your Holy Spirit will guide him. This is a humble prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, I would like to inform as well because in the morning session we had a written form of question and answer. You write your question and then it will be answered. But let us try uh, the original one. Yeah. If you have questions, just keep it. And then right after we have uh, ended the session, and then you will raise your question directly. So we'll have a wonderful uh, or nice talk yeah, with our presenter directly. So. Please welcome Pastor Ji Myung Hoon to come to the stage. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It is a privilege for me to present uh, at this forum, especially before you. I want to share uh, my short study and experience as a pastor, church pastor, uh, struggling with uh, discipleship during my ministry, in, especially in Korea context. While I was uh, doing MAR here at IAS, uh, 
I had a study, the title like this, family-like relationship as a scriptural system for the church. So this is the paper, what I'm going to present this afternoon is that paper, but I a little bit adjust it. Okay, uh, let me begin. Uh, about uh, this paper, I can say this paper is of creative system in church in relation to church administration and especially small group system. Yeah, especially small group system. It attempts to suggest a creative system for the church, which is based on the biblical foundations. Basically, it contains biblical approach on the topic and applies with a case. It means a suggestion. So I want to emphasize more on uh, this case I have experienced. Uh, this is uh, the table contents of my paper. After introduction, the chapter two is foundations of family-like relationship uh, from the Bible. So Old Testament background and then New Testament foundations. The chapter three, titled Family Like Leadership and Membership. Family like relationship, maybe one uh, phrase we can say, family like relationship. Family like church, then family-like leadership, then family-like membership. Then lastly, I will put the applications. The first one is family-like attitudes in the church. And lastly, I put a case of family system in the church that I was ministered. And I will uh, give a short summary and conclusion. Uh, the, uh, the Bible itself understands the church not as a building or a construction, but as an assembly of persons called Christians or the believers. Thus, for the church, an effective human relations may be the key to influence over the members and the church itself. In this vein, if a church has a system that strengthens relationship of church members and support their activities, the church can be changed and stabilized. Then, is there any such a creative biblical system yeah, this is uh, my question as a pastor. Yeah, shortly, I uh, introduce how creative system can uh, influence the church and church members. Church administration can function well by creating systems that fit the church and keep the church growing on. Such a creative, sorry. Such a creative system will give change as well as stability to the church. Yeah, here is a definition of a system. Maybe uh, I can skip. In this study, system in the context of church is defined as a fundamental, uh, foundational structure or culture or format which has been formed either intentionally or unintentionally and continued for a long time. I mean the system we need, especially church need, 
means not uh, simply a program. It's a more uh, what fundamental. Uh, how can I say? Yeah, fundamental system, not not a, a mere program. We need that kind of system for the church. In a sense, system may mean what church is like. To say it differently, a church which has healthy system can be called a healthy church. Yeah, according to one scholar, uh, there are many uh, various system can be applied for the church, to the church. I skip. Yeah, here is a, a picture. Yeah, simply, you can say a good system means healthy church and healthy members. Sorry, I'll, I'll skip this one for the time. Yeah, church administrators should consider how the church can have a create system. What kind of system is best for the church? Above all, what does the church expect with a new creative system for the present and future of the church? Whatever is created for church systems, the creativity of its system is attractive to the church members as well as the other people. Yeah, for uh, instance, uh, you know, every church in Korea, as well as uh, Korean churches in foreign country, like in Philippines, Korean church in Philippines, uh, we have uh, lunch table after Sabbath worship every week. I know here I ask also uh, potluck, but uh, it's more than potluck. Uh, as a system, every uh, Korean church has the kinds of lunch table system. That's why the churches have kitchen and cafeteria capable to serve all the members, including visitors. Of course, a small church has a small kitchen and small cafeteria, but uh, large church has a big and huge kitchen and cafeteria. Every week we have a lunch, all the church members together. The church organizes deacon and deaconesses or volunteers for that lunch. Of course, special budget for the lunch is prepared from the church budget or donation. Yeah, for example, uh, Big church, in big church, always there are several people who have birthday in that special week, in a week. So that uh, week, that people, the birthday, people, they can serve, donate for the budget lunch table. Such a lunch system in Korean church can be called a creative system because of its creativity or uniqueness. I remember as I uh, was a missionary in Russia and in Russia or Central Asia country, they also our Adventist church, I served uh, for them, but they have no uh, this kind of uh, lunch table. Only the church I uh, was ministering have the uh, lunch, uh, lunch system. So it it, it will be there. Uh, it it was fresh to them. So all the church, Korean church has lunch together just after Sabbath worship, right? Yeah. It's not only uh, eating time. It's a time for fellowship and time for sometimes evangelical uh, contact and conversation and taking care, uh, taking care of uh, the small group members together because eating uh, together.
Yeah, so I mean, uh, the, a, a system, church system need creativity. Then the second one is change and stability. Change or transformation is aim and at the same time result of a creative system in the church. Change that the church expects and desires should be reflected to the creative system. Often all systems or bad systems that have been formed unintentionally tends to become problem to the church growth. So creative thinking for changing system or creating new system should be discussed for uh, the present and future of the church. To save the time, I'll skip many things. Okay, let me move to main body. So a case of uh, such a creative system, I want to suggest a system can be called family-like relationship or family-like church. If we apply it to small group, family-like small group. So I have experienced whole church and also to a small group. On the basis of the church system theory, discussed previously, a creative system which has biblical foundations might be of most uh, uh, foundational system for church. So I tried to find from the Bible such a uh, creative system can be applied to the church. That system may be named family-like church system or simply family system. It is very clear that God established the family system. The man and woman God made have God may have built a family from creation of the world. I think uh, we knew all, we know all. One thing is notable that when God created the family relation, his purpose is that families are helper, to be helper to the, to the others. This could probably be the answer to the question why family relationship is needed to humankind. When God chose Noah and his family to succeed the lineage of humankind, we call it recreation, in Noah's family are their husband or father, wife or mother, and three sons and their wives, and namely children. It is not different from today's family. Yeah, everything were recreated, but the family system still exists in Noah's uh, case. In the Old Testament family times, family, the word family is a basic concept to recognize people in relations near and far. The Old Testament people had wider concept of family than today. The expression father's house, I omit the Hebrew expression, the father's house of the Old Testament was an extended family. In Old Testament people, they call uh, father's house, but they include widely the more people not only the direct families, compromising all the descendants of single living ancestors in a single lineage. Thus, the father's house included the head of house and his wife, his sons and their wives, and his grandsons and their wives, plus any unmarried sons or daughters in the, in the generations below him, along with the all unrelated dependents, the slaves or the servants, including. In Old Testament family, a person 
felt the strongest sense of inclusion, identity, protection, and responsibility. Very similar to modern family concept. At least three Greek words in the New Testament used in the New Testament for family and related concepts. The first one is in Greek, genesis, genos, which means family, referring to a small group or small band of relatives and also means offspring or people. Like uh, Old Testament, it's a wider concept. The second one is patria, which signifies family from the perspective of historical descendants. For instance, the, uh, the descendants of David or the sons of David. Like it means all the descendants of same, in the same lineage. The third one is oikos. I was emphasize this word. Oikos or oikia, the female form, is much more common and signifies family as household. The New Testament, as in the Old Testament, includes not only blood relatives, but also other dependents, slaves, employees, or clients they call family. Of the origin and concept of family in the New Testament, especially, it is enough to see a statement of Jesus himself. Matthew 19, 5 to 6, and Jesus said, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Jesus taught family as a precious relation God has established, and it should never be treated lightly. Jesus once healed a man suffering from demon possessed and said to him to go home and share his joy in great thing happened to him with families. Go home, share with your families. Families here are the first ones who want share joy, since they have shared sorrow and suffering too. Like this, family in the New Testament is also the primary relation in society. For both Christian and non-Christian family is the closest relation to take care of one another. Presumably, the most important concept of family in New Testament time is the use of oikos, house or family, in the sense of family of God. As scholar states, what could be conveyed by the idea of family of God had? in fact already come into being in the primitive Christian community through the house churches. So now uh, the concept or system, the family system uh, was moving to New Testament church, God's church. With birth of the church, the believers began to, called, to be called the family of God in faith. So uh, still we, using, we are using this term, the family of God in the face. The Apostle Paul also mentioned about such a new uh, spiritual family yeah, in Romans 8, 14. And Paul uses two other metaphors for Christians, the house of God or God's household and the household of faith. Christians belong to one another in one family since we belong to Christ. The terms brothers and sisters 
are main terms which were used for the believers in the early church. Yeah, still, many countries we use these uh, uh, terms, brother or sister. The Greek word adelphos, brother, and its feminine form adelphe, sister, means literally one born from the same womb, same mother. So it was originally used for brother in the physical sense. Thus we can see the same terms of family were also used in the church. It is striking that the term bro uh, brother occurring more than 300 times mostly means the brothers in faith, in the church band. In particular, it is significant that Jesus said, for whoever does will, the will of my Father who is heaven, he is my brother and sister and my mother. Now here we can see the family terms, father, mother, brother, sister. In fact, it is Jesus who taught first the concept of family like relationship in believers. As we know, Jesus is the only begotten, firstborn, beloved Son of God. We see here a father son relationship. Jesus is also the brother of Christians, according to the New Testament. So, the same terms and such a close relationship must be applied to the Church of God. Already the early church applied this concept, the family concept, into uh, the new family of believers, the church. The close relationship demands love and care between brothers and sisters in faith. The love Jesus taught and showed should be applied to the church relationship in the degree of family love or even more. Okay. There is two kinds of family-like relationship in the church. Family-like leadership and family-like membership. Uh, one is to, for the leaders, one is for uh, the members. Family-like leadership is for pastors and leaders of church, whereas family-like membership is of relationship among church members and of attitude to pastors and leaders. I think this uh, passage is most important to support uh, this, uh, the idea of uh, this paper. The second, uh, First Timothy chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, do not sharply rebuke an old man, but rather appeal to him as a father, to the young men as brothers, the older woman women as mothers, and the younger women as sisters in all purity. Or is teaching or advising his beloved spiritual son, Timothy, the pastor, young pastor, like this. Do not sharply rebuke an old man respect or appeal to him as a father to the young uh, woman as a sister to the young man as a brothers and all the women as a mothers like family okay, first as mentioned the uh, the family like leadership in uh, first timothy sorry first timothy 5 can be a leadership model for all pastors and leaders. This may be called relational leadership since Timothy as a pastor makes various relations with the believers in the church. Church leaders uh, such as overseer or elder or deacon should be one who manages his own household well. In the, uh, the other, elsewhere in the New Testament, 
the church leader should be managed, should manage his own household well too. Also says to be, uh, they should be good managers of their children and their own houses. So managing family should be applied also in the, uh, to the church, I think. In other words, the church leaders should manage at their own home before managing the church. At the same time, it seems like the family management is closely related with the church administration according to this principle. The church leaders who rule their family well would well administer the, the church family too. Yeah. Time uh, is passing. So secondly, family-like membership is not inferior to family-like leadership. Uh, I want to also emphasize family-like members, not only the leaders, the church members should uh, acknowledge, should uh, recognize how they have this family-like uh, relation or attitude as uh, members. Uh, especially in Hebrew, the last chapter, a, a, a advice of the author, remember your leaders and imitate their faith and obey them and greet them, leaders. The author of Hebrews treats believers' attitude to leaders as one of practical Christian life, especially in the church life. When pastor or leader comes near to his members with family-like relation, and the members also should obediently come close to the leaders. Then they would come into family-like relationship too. The family-like close relationship with leaders would bring many blessings to the entire church. Okay, now I skip uh, many things. Yeah. And I move to application. Okay, family-like relationship in the church is indeed a matter of attitude. Church is such a special organization like family, which has more intimate relationship beyond mere fellowship or friendship. Such an intimate relationship is based on the attitude how church leaders and members think about church relationship. Church pastors should think one of uh, each one of members as families who are worthy to be loved and taken care of. Not only pastors, not also church members must have such an uh, attitude to pastors because they are in the spiritual family. Okay. Here are some uh, uh, things can be expected through the uh, application of family-like relationship. Yes, uh, here is a case. Here is a church proposed as a case of family-like relational church. This church established in 1991 in Korea has attempt to apply the family-like relationship as a new system, new system in order to improve the remote relations among church members and to effectively manage the members and activities. It has been since 2005. So since 2005, for five years, I uh, served this church. First, I newly appointed, uh, the newly appointed pastor approached the church members with the family-like relationship concept as fatherly and brotherly attitude. That approach began to remove barriers between the pastor and members. Soon the pastor could freely visit the members' homes. The members willingly welcomed the pastor and his family. To some specific members, such as elderly or same age members, he used to call intimately as father or mother or just names in private occasion. You know, in Korean culture, we 
call others in his name. Always Mr. or Deacon, Deacon Kim, or Elder Bach, like that. If we, uh, to Elder One, we call his name, it's very polite, in impolite. But uh, I try to, with a new system, I call the elder, elder person, mother, or father, because they are already enough old. <laughs> or uncle sometimes, or some brother, sister, elder brother, like this. Okay, maybe yeah, terminology is not terminology is not crucially important. Nevertheless, the concept of intimacy and truthfulness is more important in forming family-like relation system in the church. It is an extra benefit that Korean church members have ever known as saying or rumor. The pastor is the father of the church, and likewise, the pastor's wife is the mother. How about in Philippines or other country? I don't know. But in Korea, uh, especially church members, in church, always they think the, the pastor, our pastor is father of our church. Likewise, the pastor's wife is mother. So even though I was young, but they respect the pastor. Sorry. Yeah, secondly, the church, after discussion, commenced a new family like small group system, family group. Yeah, we apply especially to the small group. The family group were gathered in a unit of six to ten members who were diverse in age and faith. And then each group appointed members within the group as a father, mother, elder brother, and so on. Regardless, practically using the names, the members always thought the family like relations in the group. You know, many church members, especially young people, they attend church alone. So they need a family-like church or family-like caring. Thirdly, each group at least met regularly once a week together and some of members met more often personally. Group meeting and activities were planned under the leaders, we call father, but it was uh, upon discussion, the decision of all the members together. Okay, in this way, they often met and talked together so that they could become closer quickly than before. Especially a weak faith member was taken care of by the rest of members. Because I, I, I am your father. So always call him, how are you now? Uh, how, how was your Bible study? Like he checked. They prayed for him or her and helped the matters and problems hard to solve. Like real family, I heard one of member he confessed, oh, church is more than my family. Sometimes I feel more than my family. <coughs> Everyone's birthday and special occasions could be remembered and congratulated by the family group members. Most of all, they shared the words of God with prayers and praises whenever they gathered together in regular group meeting. Yeah, time is already over, so I skip everything and go to summary and collision. The third uh, paragraph, in this vein, family-like church system can be a such a creative system for the church because it is supported by the biblical foundations and practical examples of early churches in the New Testament and current case of Korean church. It seems that family-like relationship is a concept that the Bible has recommended for the church now and then. This family-like relationship may be divided into two kinds of an aspect, family-like leadership and family-like membership. It is family that in which our intimacy, unconditional love and caring and uh, re uh, rearing. Such a deep, close, relation-based attitude needs to be applied to the church, the family of God. 
When the church becomes like family, the members will be able to communicate each other confidently and express themselves freely without fear. Further, they will want what is best for, the, for one another. They will make a concerted effort to listen, understand, accept differences, values, and confirm uniqueness. Finally, the 21st century church should do well to emphasize the first century concept of sibling love or family-like love and thereby strengthen the concept of family within the family of God. In this reason, the family-like system for the church is surely a good creative system based on historical and biblical foundations. Okay, thank you very much. Well, we are being introduced to biblical foundation or biblical information concerning one great system that is suggested to be applied in our church, that is family-like relationship. Now, I will entertain two questions only. So we have only, yeah, I have here already one, and then, oh, you have, okay. Okay, yes. Please entertain first a uh, direct uh, question, please. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor G, about the family-like um, uh, style. Because uh, China and Korea, our culture are really similar. I can fully understand that the, the, what you said in your church. And in China, the same, when during the persecution, all the church uh, uh, model is about a family. Uh, house church. At that time, the church grew very really fast. But now we have the big church, but the, the membership even declined. So the question is like that. Nowadays, when the young people, the young generation, their concept of a family, they become really, uh, become declining. Yeah, and right. they don't care about the family. So what the, the, the principle you talk about is suitable to the young generation or the modern or postmodern uh, people? Is there like any conflict or it will uh, construct this? Yeah. Yeah, the church I mentioned uh, in my presentation, uh, yeah, actually, it, that church was a uh, what, uh, special church. The church uh, w uh, was a church aimed to campus ministry. So it means in my church, many young people, especially collegians, the college or university students. So most of, uh, many of them is from our Adventist home, but uh, the other students, they from non-Christian background. Yeah, of course, uh, the church uh, maybe cannot exactly the same function or same concept uh, like a real family to the church members, but uh, I want to, to suggest church can provide family-like uh, what mood or atmosphere to our a lonely a church members, especially young people, they attend church alone from their family. But when we take care, we take care of them, yeah, they feel the church like a family, like a mother or father uh, is taking care for them themselves. So I think uh, I cannot answer everything to. Uh, what you have uh, uh, questioned, but uh, I can say, yeah, we can try. We can try as like uh, the early church model, house church. Even though we 
all together uh, on the Sabbath together, but we can share in small group as a father or mother, as a brother and sisters, we can share our faith and we can help them to be raised in the faith and in Christ Church. We have uh, two questions. Uh, this goes to right away to your context. Yeah? So I go with the first question written here. What is the structure of the family group that you are talking about? And then how many members is fit for this system? And then are they of multi-age group? So everybody uh, welcome. And then the last question from this uh, paper, what is the purpose What is the purpose or topic in the meeting? Yeah, let's go with this first. Yes, I, I already mentioned. Uh, yeah, in my case, I made the, the small group in six to ten persons. Ten members. Of course, uh, there are uh, the members are different ages. Yeah. Is it more preferable? Because the uh, oldest one uh, can be father. Uh, or maybe the oldest one is uh, the really old. Then grandfather we can call. But. <laughs> But usually, father is the leader of that small group, and over similar age, second brother, the first brother and second third like it. And or there are uh, young adults there. Maybe we can we can say we can call him uh, uncle. <laughs> like it. But every in every small group, there are one or two new members. not uh, yet baptized, then we can uh, take care of him. But anyway, it's very useful. Uh, I'm very thankful one of the elder. Uh, this idea I from one of the elders from my church. But I added this is the biblical foundation, but it's originally from him. Because when he was young, he was taken care of the small group, very close in very close relationship. So his his idea, our oh, pastor, you are uh, our new pastor. Please make our church like a family mm -hmm. for the especially young young uh, collegians, very lonely uh, attending the church. But anyway, it it, it was successful, uh, I think. So I, I want to share, I, I want to, uh, the other country or the other context, we can apply this to your church. Yeah, of course, what is the, the question was, what is the purpose of topic in the meeting? Uh, meeting means maybe in the, in the group meeting. Yeah, group meeting. Yeah, of course, it, it's very similar to family. Not only for the Bible study, not only for the singing, or not only for evangelistic uh, meeting, like a family, uh, doing together, yeah, all kinds of things. Yeah. Not only praying, praising, and uh, visiting some other uh, members, and eating together, special eating. <laughs> eating is very important. You know, we, all Korean pastors, we have uh, Special saying, interesting saying, mokke is mokke. The only difference in pronunciation, mokke means pastoral ministry. Mokke means eating ministry. <laughs> so eating, eating is ministry. Yeah. So pastoral ministry is the same with eating ministry. But eating means all 
come together, okay? gather together, sharing their faith and talking and sometimes asking. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I'm really sorry. I should keep the last question to the presenter it's, uh, himself. So because we run of time. So could you please come our president? Yeah, our presenter, Pastor G. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor G, for your presentation. On behalf of the IS Asian Theological Society, we gratefully uh, present this certificate of appreciation to Pastor G Myung Hun uh, in his presentation on the family-like relationship as a scriptural system for the church during the third IS Asian Theological Society annual forum with the theme making disciples opportunities and challenges of developing faithful disciples in asia on june 12 to 13 2015 at the adventist international institute of advanced studies lalang wan silang kavite philippines thank you so much thank you, thank you. Thank you.